Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is take two. When I went to retrieve the camera, I have to pull it back up, I clicked the X and it shut it off before I was done talking. I hate that, but anyway, this is a short letter that I got from Dawn today and I wanted to share it because there's some important part, points in here. Words of instruction from the Lord. Let's get started. The first one is called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marcia Burns. You must forgive those. This is a word from the Lord now, and I believe it. Listen to this. You must forgive those who have offended you and let go of the past before you can move ahead. They may have sinned against you, but your sin is one of unforgiveness that will be like an anchor that will weigh you down. Do not let that happen. Let us not be left behind. Now, that it's, that's the end of the message. <laughs> How do I do that? That's the end. I'm adding this. Let us not be left behind because we can't forgive somebody. Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15 says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And of course, I have discussed the unforgivable sins. We know one's the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And, and again, I talked about that. I got a thumbs down. I don't care. Some people don't agree. You can go back and find that video if you don't understand what the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit truly is. It's not thinking that this one over here is not hearing from the Lord, but this one over here is. You believe these, the, this one, this one, this one, but you don't believe this one, this one, this one. That's that's you trying to discern. Hopefully you're praying and, and you're filled with the Holy Spirit yourself and asking for more and more wisdom and discernment. But people who continually say, there's no prophecy today. None of that is of the Holy Spirit. That is all of the devil. All that talking in tongues business, that is of the devil. Those are the people I would say I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. You can check out that video if you want. All right. The next message says, keep, you keep, you keep your promises well. Now, let me check my position here. I guess I have to tip it down because of the light and my eyes. I got to fix it where I can see it. All right. Let me see if I pull it up a little. That'll help. You keep your promises well, but there is something you do not do well, and that is keeping your promises to yourself. When it comes to making a decision where you are concerned, you often cave in. It is important for you to decide to stay on course to yourself. You are as important as others. Do not slack up on what you have promised to yourself. Carry through and do what you have decided. Um, so the Lord wants us to love ourselves as much as we love others. This is what was added to it. Matthew twenty two thirty nine from the Message Bible. He's talking about his two commandments that he gave to us. We all know the first one. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and with all thy strength. Now, in the Message Bible, the second part goes like this. But there is a second to set alongside it. Love others as well as you love yourself. That was received by Bev Robinson. Okay, so some people actually put their self always first 
if they have something left over, they might help somebody else. That's as bad or worse of a sin as never taking care of yourself. The Lord expects us to take care of ourselves. This is our temple. If we're always taking our grocery money and giving it away, and then we eat poorly to the point where we're emaciated or undernourished, we don't take our vitamins, that, like the vitamin D3, that helps us, our immune system, the vitamin C, the zinc, whatever you can afford. If you can't afford it because you're always doing for others, that's about as wrong as taking in uh, illegal substances to damage your, your temple. Do you see that? You may not agree, but that's... Knowing what's going on, sure, the Bible says nothing shall by any means harm us. And uh, no plague will enter into my tent which or dwelling, depending on your version. That's Psalm 91.10. The other one, I, don't, I, I, don't, I can't quote the chapter and verse, but it's nothing shall by any means harm us. Right, but let's not be foolish about it and never eat properly, never buy ourselves some vitamin D3 and, and vitamin C and zinc. It's not that expensive. If you can afford that, get it. Then help others to you the best of your ability. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. This last one is, There will come a day, and it will be soon, that you will see the growth that has been promised and anticipated. That growth may not come as you thought it would. My ways are sometimes not understood by the natural mind or seen by natural eyes. Do not look at my promises through your mind, but look with my spirit that is within you. Ask me, and I will allow you to see from my perspective. I wonder how many people are going to get to go outside of time with us, the first fruits, that don't even know they're part of the first fruits because they don't watch YouTube. Maybe they got off, you know, a few years ago and they dedicate more time to serving in person, street ministry, or reading the word, more, t more like a couple hours a day, spending more time in prayer. They're close to the Lord, but they don't seek hearing from him and he just gives them revelation through the word and they don't realize that we go outside of time and we come back as his harvest army to heal, get people saved, get people into safety, get them fed, whatever they need. Might have to round them up some clothes. But Jesus said, greater things than these shall you do. So we know we're coming back to do these things. So many people have seen them in dreams and visions and words. Like I got mess that message I shared with somebody yesterday. that I thought I had told her already about the multiple raptures, but I guess I didn't. Or else we both forgot. <laughs> I don't know how you'd forget that. But, so I think I didn't tell her. So anyway, yeah, I was going over that message and the scriptures that went with it. That video was made in February of 2020. I had redone it and added a bunch of scriptures. Sorry about the scratching. It started itching all of a sudden. Anyway, let me read the scripture for this. Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 in the Amplified Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Nor are your ways my ways. See, a lot of people think we're going to go outside of town, go to heaven, that's it. We're going to have a wedding feast, a wedding banquet, and we're staying in heaven, and we're not coming back. See, that's, that's what he might be talking about here. Could be, I'm saying. But we, we think one way, and our, his ways are not our ways. Okay. 
nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And that was received by Jonas Bolin. Now, let me try pulling up the camera without shutting it off. There we go. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of you. Boy, that sun is really coming in bright. I love it, though. So much better than gloominess. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every single one of us and our devices and our internet connections. As long as we're here, let us stay connected and keep me in your prayers. I keep you in mine. All right. Bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.